Hello, my name is Chinedu Anichi. In 2022, there was a world championship in Budapest in USA. And Anita Alvarez was a good swimmer. She dove in into the pool and could not come up for a long time. But her coach, Andre Fotos, dove in too and discovered she was unconscious and could not swim and brought her up. I want to ask you today, some of your friends can be way too long down. Dive in today, dive in today with a phone call. Dive in today with a text message. Dive in today with a visit. You never can tell what's that passing through. Dive in today and rescue somebody. And the photos did it. Anita Alvarez was a good swimmer, but couldn't help herself that day. Go in today and find out how your friends, family, and peers are doing. And God will bless you. Remember to share this message so that others can be edified and take good action. God bless you. What's one thing men need to get better at? This was absolutely shocking to me. I watched a TV drama series called A Million Little Things. It's about four men who were always together at every sports event, at every family event. These guys knew each other for over 10 years. In their eyes, they were best friends. That on this terrible day, one of them ended his life. The other three guys were devastated, not only by the death of their friend, but more so from the fact that they had no idea what was really going on in their friend's life. Right at that moment, they all realized the friendships they had with each other had no depth. They spent so much time together, but didn't even know each other because they never talked about their personal struggles. They had no idea that their friend was suffering from depression. The first episode hit me like a ton of bricks and I started questioning the depth of the relationships I had with my male friends. Right away, I phoned three of my closest friends and I convinced them to go to a restaurant that night. At the restaurant, I told my friends about this TV drama and suggested that we should all start sharing a little bit more about ourselves so we can be more supportive towards each other, like true friends. As soon as I said this, one of my friends interjected and said, Okay, I'll, I'll go first. And he said this, every time I go home, I feel lonely. We were stunned that he said this because he was always so upbeat. The next guy told us about some serious health challenges that he was going through. And my third friend told us about his marriage was falling apart. We had no idea. Men need to encourage each other into opening up about what is happening in their lives to their close male friends and family members and know that when they share their struggles and concerns, that they're actually creating a safe environment for their friends to do the same. If your friends ever need help, by doing this, you'll open that door for them to get that support from you.